Hey you guys, welcome to our vlog. First of all, thank you so much for all of your love and comments on our last video. I had a wonderful time in Seattle going to the Taylor Swift concert with Kennedy and her stepmom. And you guys, when I came home, this house was spotless. I'm one of those people that when I leave town, I leave with a clean house, right? I want to come home to a clean house. Even though things were clean, it was still a little like disorganized from moving and boxes. And I came home, Shad worked so hard. Not only did he just like put things away, it's not like he just got the boxes out of sight. No, he literally organized, he mopped, he swept. This little girl helped too. I'm so, so thankful. I'm at home this morning with the kids. Shad is at the eye doctor right now. He desperately needs a new prescription and he actually broke his glasses uh, last week or whenever that was that we went to Lake Mead, he stepped on them. I bent them back with some pliers, but they're not perfect. And so he just needs new glasses. Just a heads up, we have some very special people that are going to be in this video on our vlog today. So stay tuned, you won't wanna miss to see who they are. You will fall in love with them, I'm telling you that. Okay you guys, I just found something scary for the first time in our Las Vegas house. It's dead, but it's a cockroach. And I'm sure it's been in here for a while. Kids freaking out. We have those drawer, like pull out things that are in front of your sink. So these things that just pull in and out, you can put sponges in. Anyway, there's a dead cockroach in there. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Yeah, so mommy's gonna get that out. It's little though. I think it's been there for a while. Yeah, mommy's gonna get it out. Oh my gosh. So we didn't take you guys with us yesterday, but we went to Costco, did a huge Costco haul. We got a fan specifically for our kitchen and dining room. There's two air conditioning beds, one here, one right there. That's the dining area, and then one in the kitchen. But it gets so hot in the kitchen and the dining room. And Shad said over the weekend when I was gone, it was like 114 or something. Poor Keaton, he looked over, she's sitting at the table and she just has like sweat on her forehead. And we have air conditioning. Our bill already, you guys, oh my gosh, it's already at $337. That's the projected amount. So we have our AC set at 78. I just, I don't know if it's like the vents or I'm not sure, the ducts. It seems like a huge job, right? If we were to call like the HVAC people um, or our property management people that it would be like a huge job for them to come out and see if it's even like what's going on. It's weird because upstairs is cooler than downstairs and that just seems like it should be the opposite. And then we also got an air fryer. So this is the one we got from Costco. It looks like Chad, yeah, I got it out of the box and stuff. Anyway, we used our air fryer in Washington all the time, but we had to leave it, so. Oh, and then I also, my hair is falling out like crazy and I, I can't blame it on COVID anymore. I can't blame it on having Carson because that's been three years <laughs> since both of those, since I had both of those. So I got some collagen. Can you guys let me know what kind of collagen you use and where you get it and maybe if it's not too crazy expensive. But this thing from Costco was $20, which I thought was a great deal. But it says to take six a day. So I don't know, maybe you just take collagen temporarily. But six a day of these things? like that just seems like a lot so anyway I was looking for a liquid kind that I could just add to my drinks during the day but I didn't see that look who's home hi three hours four hours later whatever it was lots of money later yeah he needs new glasses you guys and the unfortunate thing is we don't have health insurance right now so no insurance to cover the glasses but it was a mess. He hasn't been able to see for a long time. He's constantly looking over his glasses. So guess what? He had to get like like old people glasses. I did. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. We're thankful that they yeah. have them so we can see I'm better. I'm not old. Well, you're almost 50. I know I have a year, less than a year left to accomplish a lot of things. I think we started off <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? As we get closer to 50, 50 doesn't seem that old. No. No. It I mean, I need to shave. I got some gray. I to make me look younger, but. 50 isn't old. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, and I'm constantly taking pictures of things and then opening them up. I can't read bottle labels. I can't. 
Can't go yeah, away. all the things that he's put together in our house since we moved in here. He's had to like take a picture of the instructions and then blow them up on his phone. Poor guy. You guys, check out this. I don't say bucket very often. Shad says bucket, but <laughs> this bucket. is a bucket of salsa that we got yesterday from Costco. It's huge. Here is this huge container of salsa. We've never tried it before. Guys, look at that. It's like almost as big as my hand. It's huge. Kind of looks like restaurant style. After you, my dear. Oh, thank you. You're you get some and I'll get some. Shad doesn't like too tomatoey. I don't like too sweet. But I'm also a dipper. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Pretty good. There's definitely tomatoes in there. I like it. It's really good. It's good. I don't know if we can eat the whole thing, but it was like five dollars. That's as much as you would get in a store. Mom. Oh, we'll eat it. We're gonna eat this whole thing. Okay. Shan. What? What's the other good news? You have really good news to share with everybody. Do you guys know I've been waiting for my uh, orientation date or my training days for Olive Garden? I'm more and more I'm thinking that it hopefully is a good opportunity but on Friday I got a phone call from the lady at Allegiant Stadium that I applied for the manager position for like a couple weeks ago and she's like unfortunately you didn't get the manager job but we would love to give you to offer you this supervisor position so like probably right below the manager sweet supervisor I'm sorry sweet supervisor so like Allegiant Stadium if you don't know is the nicest stadium in the entire NFL so I'm super excited I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work between two jobs but, but it's not uh, at Allegiant, it's only when they're having events. But they have a lot of events, concerts, um, football, games. <laughs> football games, obviously. She was super nice. She was like, we really liked you, we want to find you a spot, and we'll train you whatever you want. <laughs> so, um, not completely full-time, so just praying that both jobs together will be at least full-time and they can coexist. Oh, I think they'll be more than full time. I think I think he's gonna have to tell Olive Garden to like maybe not schedule them quite as often. We feel so thankful and blessed. <laughs> so so happy. And if you guys don't know Shad, he is like a sports fanatic. Like he knows all of the statistics and like sports trivia is like his thing. Like he just he loves sports. He's gonna be working the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is in Las Vegas this year, and he will get to work it. I mean, like, he'll be working, so it's not like he can sit and enjoy it, but oh my gosh, it, the, that experience is gonna be amazing. Like, <laughs> yeah. it'll be cool to work there, and even though I'm working for the building, well, hopefully I'll get to meet lots of good, fun and interesting people, um, even in the suites, just the regular, mm -hmm. regular attendees. Yeah. Um, super, super, super excited. Okay, I don't know what Keaton and I were thinking. We just decided to come wait in the car for Shad and Carson. It's over 100 degrees in this car right now. <laughs> we're just, we're ready to go to dinner. We're gonna go to Applebee's and meet these amazing people that we have not met in person yet. We're going to Applebee's. Keaton, have you missed Applebee's? <laughs> Applebee's was like our go-to place in Washington. It was probably the closest, like, sit down place to our house. <laughs> okay everybody, we are here at Applebee's. We told you we were coming to Applebee's and that we were meeting some very special people. Keaton was very excited to meet them. So, let me show you. <gasps> here hey, is everybody. Dale and Paula from Las Vegas Inside and Out. They are just the sweetest couple. Do you guys want to I didn't even so, ask you? You know what? We're so not happy that they came here to Las Vegas but now they're gonna take over the vlogging. They right? are. So we're I gonna know. quit. We might as watch well just the, quit. Watch we're these guys. Yeah, we're gonna quit. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we are so happy to welcome the Logue family, and we hope they're very, very happy here. Absolutely, they're gonna do great. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. No, if you have not seen them, we were talking about them a couple days ago when we made our little trek up to Bonnie Springs. Go check out their channel. They are the sweetest couple. Very informative about Las Vegas and everything. Just like they are in their videos, they're exactly the same. In person very down-to-earth and kind and yeah we're so thankful to be able to be here with them today we're done with dinner we're very thankful that we got to meet them we're just at Target right now we have to run in grab a few things before we head home Carson wanted to show you something what what did you get 
You got a big horn sheep from Dale and Paula. Yeah. Was that so nice of them? Yeah. They gave us a big horn sheep in honor of going when we were at um, Boulder City and we stopped at the park and the big horn sheep were there. That's how we knew we, that they were there from Dale and Paula. Yeah. So super sweet to give us this cute little stuffed well, animal that Carson won't let go of now. And we also learned that is the uh, state animal. Yes. Nevada state animal. Yeah. So, big horn sheep. Who would have known? <laughs> I thought it was the walkers on Fremont were the state animal, but. <laughs> the difference from walking outside into air conditioned Target is heavenly. <laughs> nice and night and day. Bumblebee cake pop. Bumblebee cake pop. At Starbucks. Oh my. Cute. Oh. Keen's adamant that I. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so soft, it's fallen off of the. Wow. Okay, here, Carson. You ready? Is it soft? What are you going to do? What? No, hello, Mr. They want to smell the candles. Nope, mommy will hold it. Okay. Smell. You like it? So we were just in the hearth and hand section, found a comforter that I really like. Comforter is not bad price at all, but the shams are $20 a piece. We only need two, but... It's a sham. <laughs> I buy two of them. So then I was like, where's the threshold section? Because our last comforter was threshold. Carson is disappearing down the aisle. Carson, Carson, come here. Come here. Daddy, Mama, you need to stay with Daddy, Mommy. Oh, you're saying sorry? Okay, listen. Listen to Mommy. You need to be where you can see us all the time. If you can't see us, you're too far away, okay? Say yes, Mama. Yeah, Mama. Uh, they were all right behind us. Ooh, more than a bed in the bag, though. Yeah, I don't really want bed in a bag. But if it comes with a comforter and... Hey, that's the other one. That's our old one. Which one? Oh! Oh, yeah. I think I like this one more. And it's cheaper. Shadow will be happy if I like this one. I don't know if you'll love that it's like a cream color, but I love it. Are you a fan of white? <laughs> How do I answer that question? <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be half price. Yeah, totally. I love it. <laughs> Carson, what'd you get? Dad. You want some water guns? Yeah. Oh, the, I got you're gonna squirt me at the pool. Okay, I think we're finally done. Thanks for watching, Rogue's Life. Thank you, Dale and Paula. Aw, Carson, can you say thank you? I can. <laughs>